we have County Executive mm -hmm. Matt Meyer, cousin Matt. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> Thank doing you great. for joining us today. Thank you. It's great to be here. So um, I just want to um, acknowledge my outfit. It's beautiful. What did you wear today? This is from Shein. What did you wear today? What? Jay is wearing bargain bin. I'm bargain bin as usual. You know, just the simplest thing possible. You know. I shop at. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Right on Market Street, oh, 10th and Market, a men's clothing. I store. know what you're talking about. It's um, uh, f uh, right. Is it right? Probably? Right and Simon. Yeah, Thank there we you. go. Yeah, that's gotcha, good. gotcha. What is it? Right and Simon. Right. Yeah, he's that's sharp. Right he's sharp. Oh, yeah. Right and Simon. He's sharp. He's, he's a sharp man. He's sharp, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> See where you get it from? It's running the blood. It's running the blood. I know exactly right. what you're talking about. <laughs> so, county executive, for the people like myself who know who have no idea what that is. Can you please explain to us? Sure. It's a little like being the mayor of okay. Newcastle County. If you think the, the national government has a president, an executive, and Senate and House, a legislature, mm -hmm. the, in Dover, the state government has a governor and a, a state legislature, state House, state Senate. And here in the county, local government to deal with local issues. Okay. We have a county executive, who's the executive, that's me. Oh, that's you. And then there are 13 county council people. Yeah, you're cuz. And there are 13 <laughs> uh, county council people that are, that are like the legislature. We deal with issues, police, paramedics, libraries, parks, sewers, and uh, this year, a lot of COVID-19 response, testing, okay. uh, making sure everybody has Wi-Fi, things like that. Yeah. And you spearheaded that. Uh, we did in county government. Yeah, we spearheaded that. We, I was adamant in March. You know, I spent a year, 10 years ago, I was a U.S. diplomat living on a military base in Iraq for 10 years. Wow. And General Thomas Vandal, the late General Vandal, a one-star general I worked very closely with, would always say, you can't fight an enemy if it's an invisible enemy all the time in Iraq. And that sort of saying had been ingrained in my brain. And so when COVID started and everyone's calling it this invisible enemy, I'm like, wait, we can't fight an enemy if it's an invisible enemy. And the only way I knew to make it visible was through testing. Wow. Wow. Uh, so really good. I have said several times over the course of this show that um, the county and, and your efforts to do the testing have been absolutely exemplary. You know, I mean, I, we I have friends in PA and it's really hard for them to get testing. So, you know, I, like people complain about the government all the time for a lot of different reasons, yeah. but this is a time yeah, where the government, we're here to help. We've seen of, you yeah. do this perfectly. It's like, it's been really cool to see. So can you kind of tell us just how you got the program started and how, how is it so efficient and how did you put it all together? It's Good. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, I appreciate the compliment. It's a compliment, yeah. just not of me, but we have an extraordinary team. Our paramedic service, they're sort of the unsung heroes, not just during COVID, but all the time. We have an extraordinary paramedic service. And they had a lot to do with this happening, particularly Lieutenant Autumn Tuxward, who runs our testing program. But the way it came about is back in March, you remember there was no testing. Nobody could get access to testing. A lot of governments, state governments, local governments were, were depending on the federal government, on FEMA in particular, and, and FEMA had made some mistakes. And so no testing was available. I wrote an op-ed in uh, Delaware Online in March mm -hmm. where I said, we need tests. We need to find testing for everyone. After that, I got calls from vendors from Korea, China, uh, Vietnam, wow. California, all over the country. And I didn't really know what to do. About that same time, Dr. Neil Hochstein, Dr. Joan Coker of yes. uh, ENT Allergy of Delaware. They're, they're ear, nose, and throat doctors. Yeah, my wife went to her recently. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Mm -hmm. they, they called. Um, Dr. Michael Bass, who's a gastroenterologist, he called me. They just wanted to be helpful. And so I kind of put them on the assignment of how do we find testing? And Dr. Hochstein joined up with a, you know, a local doctor, joined up with a group called Testing for America. And through those networks, we had four or five choices of vendors. We chose a group called Curative, yes. and we presented oh, yeah. them to the state. They were the, the, really the only group doing saliva testing at the time. We were the first state in the country to have open, available saliva Thank testing. Thank God. I, I was not going to get one of them things stuck up my <laughs> yeah. nose. I, yeah. I value my brain. No, no uh, but... And they said some lady's brain was leaking one time. <laughs> and I'm like, uh-uh, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> no, but I, I think that that's a really good point because that's... I, I think that everyone had that fear. You know, yes. I'm, I'm a little more daring, so if it would have come to it, I would have been like, all right, let's just truth yeah, or dare and kind of make it happen. Lose, so. Right, right. I don't have that much brain to lose in the first place. <laughs> that's right, that's and, right. you know. And also, it was, it was a problem because they now they're saying 40, about 40% of the people that get 
COVID are asymptomatic. Yes. Right? Are asymptomatic. That so means no symptoms, right? No symptoms. So if if you're coughing and you're scared and you think you really have it, you're probably willing to do the brain tickler. But if you have no symptom, how you we needed to get people tested who have who've just been exposed, have no symptoms. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people would say, You're not touching my brain. I'm mm -hmm. in, yeah. if I have no problem, why would I why would I do that? So I think saliva made it easier mm. that way. Yeah. We, we talk a lot and we joke and so this we go, we yeah, vision, we say that, but you really showed that in those yeah. early moments of COVID and it's yeah. just, I-, I Are we I, the only state? I, 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 we were the first state. There were uh, some other cities doing it. They, what really convinced me, they right before when we were looking at their technology signed a deal with the Air Force to do a million tests. And mm. I said, well, Air Force probably knows what they're doing if they're testing their people on right. this. So there was no state doing sort of widespread testing at that time. Wow. So in terms of where we are now, like how do we compare to other states at this point? You know, I, I, still, I know PA is difficult. Yeah, there are still places that, that are difficult. I haven't looked uh, around the country, but my, listen, I'm just trying to right. make sure testing <laughs> is available. And it's hard, like I was telling you mm -hmm. today, it's been real cold. Mm -hmm. The test sites are outside. Yeah. There, we've done some inside sites. There are obviously additional risks yeah. to bringing people inside, so we're cognizant of that mm -hmm. that is so neat that delaware like we we popping this year but this i think over the course of this show we've learned so much just ourselves about how many people are doing really like high high tiered like yeah. leadership on, on the cutting edge of all of these different things and it's yep. it's cool it makes it makes us a little bit you know it makes us proud well, it's, it's a one thing that's good about being in delaware is sort of we all talk to each other i was talking to friends of mine in other states and they're just like these doctors just came out and helped you and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, it's, it's who we are. I think as yeah. a smaller community, we help small each other. Small wonder. Small it's really wonder. true though. Right. <laughs> so one more thing with the testing. Um, where, so is, is, does funding run out for it at a certain point? Like where are we for the next, you know. Oh Lord. You know, over the next <laughs> six months. Sorry, like I, I, I'm not trying to stump you, but like, right. what, so for so the, the future. So the re what happened was in March, the federal government passed a $2.2 trillion stimulus right? Okay. in March. Right. So they basically said money should be no object. Go use whatever resources you have, mm -hmm. right? And so that's the resources we've been using for these test sites, for public Wi-Fi, giving teachers resources, all sorts of, uh, of assistance to small businesses. But the, the, uh, the money expires as of now, December 30th. In oh, wow. Weeks. Now, right now, as I speak, Senator Coons, uh, Representative Blunt Rochester, Senator Carper are in negotiations. Right. So hopefully, the word we're getting now is that likely will be extended a year. Now, there's not going to be any more money, right? Right. But they're giving us more time to spend it. We're just about out of money anyway. But I've, I've committed. We're going to find a way. The critical things, like the test sites, we're going to find a way to keep them open. I don't know how yet, yeah. uh, but we're going to find a way. Well, I mean... Our other cousins, the DuPonts, you know. <laughs> the DuPont, that's our cousin money. DuPont. <laughs> you know. Y'all got some money, and y'all in the health care. I mean, and we got the Astra of Zeneca <laughs> around the corner. We got, um, what, Insight. Come on, pharmaceuticals. Come on, this your time. Give back to the people. W one thing. Wow, Nadja for mayor. For ma listen. <laughs> well, listen, I'm cute. I, I'm for the people. <laughs> I like dogs. <laughs> so you, you're ready to take on that responsibility? Listen, you ready is, to there, run is there a wardrobe budget? <laughs> yeah. I just need to know. Is there a wardrobe yeah. budget? Let me know, because my husband is tired of all the boxes and packages coming to our So house. that's your platform. I want, I, I want a better wardrobe. No, no, no. My platform is for the people with a better wardrobe. <laughs> for the people with a better wardrobe. I'll try that. Maybe after COVID, I'll try that line. Yeah, wait till. It's actually really interesting, though, to see, because I, I think that so many people don't understand the importance of all of these different positions in government. And you can see kind of firsthand yeah. um, why individuals matter. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. if it, it, it could have gone very differently with how this county handled that money and we wouldn't have the luxury of getting tested i've gotten texted i'm sure 10 at least 10 times at this point like i try no. to do it almost weekly no 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 he is a serial tester i'm a serial tester <laughs> He's a serial tester yeah. they know him as soon as he walks up in fact they huff and puff they'd be mm -hmm. like oh yeah here come jay mm -hmm. 
with all with the whole family. They got family. snacks for him when they when he with, walk up. I come with my wife, both of my kids, and we do it regularly. You know, it just gives me a family certain level pair. of No, comfort. that's good. We actually were having problems in the beginning that we wanted people to. We wanted a lot of people to get tested. We knew a mm -hmm. lot of people were asymptomatic, had no symptoms, and yeah. had it in there. But that's changed now. People are coming mm -hmm. out. So. Wow. Good. So, we've tested almost two hundred thousand wow. people. Uh, or we've tested almost 200,000 times. Mm -hmm. So wow. we think about the 100,000 people. I've, I've got about 50,000. <laughs> 50, I've got 50 of those. But also I should mention there are other, like county council has been so, we can't do, we can't spend the money without county council support. County council has been, the legislative branch has been very supportive. As I mentioned, our paramedics, our public works, all the tents and all the cones yeah. and everything, our police department making sure that traffic runs smoothly. Mm -hmm. So I tell, I tell my team, we, it, the goal is not very high, but we got to be better than LabCorp and Quest. I want it easier, quicker. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't take a number, whatever, just come through. It's been first. amazing. Walk on up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So give us a little information on uh, on the Sheridan. The yeah. Camp, the Sheridan off of 95. Um, the Hope, is it? The, the uh, Newcastle County Hope Center. Yes. Is what we renamed it as. We, so when we started this, I brought my team together and I said there are three goals when we go through this crazy pandemic thing. The first goal is to do anything we can to save lives, keep people healthy, whether it's you know testing, we're helping the state now to get the vaccine di dissemination, anything we can do uh, in that regard. The second goal was protecting the most vulnerable, right? Yeah. We knew that this caused vulnerable populations to become a lot more vulnerable. When we say everybody quarantine at home, what do you do if you're homeless? What do you do if yeah. you're homeless and it's cold outside if you're used to going a shelter and the shelters have limited capacity because they don't want it to be a cesspool of, of yeah. COVID. So what we, we've been uh, for the past six months working, collaborating with the state and the city of Wilmington, city of Newark, Middletown, uh, helping uh, homeless individuals experiencing homelessness to get vouchers to go to motels, those were overrun. And yeah. we found it made more sense to, to acquire a hotel and not just not just use it for housing and food, but make it a center of basically rehabilitation. So people wow. coming in there that, that, why are you experiencing homelessness? Maybe there's a domestic situation. Mm. Maybe it's substance use. Maybe it's mental health. Maybe it's all the above. Maybe it's none of the above. Maybe you need job training. Maybe uh, your kids need really high quality schooling. Some of the motels had inconsistent Wi-Fi in some mm. of the rooms, which normally I'd be like, whatever, not a big deal. But we know in this day and age, that means your kids might not be able to go to school. Yeah. So we said, this is going to keep going. We also have, even before COVID, we had a transitional housing uh, problem here. You might remember RBRC, the Rick Van yeah. Story Center, the YMCA, they both closed shelters in the past few years. At some point, we needed to address this problem, so why not now? Wow. Mm -hmm. you're, you're doing really cutting edge stuff here, and it's, it's, it's making a difference. So how did you, take us to the beginning kind of, like how did you get involved with, with, with politics and serving the public? Yeah. I, in, in middle school, was pretty passionate about wow. uh, homelessness. Really? I went up to Kennebunkport, Maine, for those who remember. When the Where first, are you from? So I'm from uh, big city, uh, Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah, okay. You heard of it? Oh, yeah, you guys I've familiar with it? it? I've heard of it. My well. cousin knows yeah. it, I think. My cousin. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You been there? Yeah, no, I'm from Wilmington. Uh, I actually was born in Michigan, moved the family here when I was about five months old. Okay. Wow. So, and then grew up here, went away to college, mm -hmm. and then uh, came, came back. Yeah. Uh, and when I was in middle school, I, 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 or it wasn't, I took a bus at some point when I was a kid up to Kennebunkport, Maine, because the president was uh, vacationing. Bush was vacationing at his big, you know, chateau. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there were all these homeless people, and I think he just vetoed some bill to assist homeless people it's like people don't have homes and you're going to a place with you know 24 buildings to mm -hmm. vacation wow. and so i've always been passionate that we got to take care of the least fortunate among us and so uh so it's been something a goal of mine to address the problem you can't always in in positions like mine you learn you got to wait for the right timing you don't always yeah. have the resources to do it this is an opportunity to do it i gotta mention carrie casey nicole waters okay this is their vision uh, as much as or more than it's mine, Renee Beeman, okay. uh, who's, oh, who runs the State Service the, Center. Uh, first Lady of my church. Oh, cool. Yeah, Bethel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And her to Corey, right? Yep. Yeah, Corey yeah. Messiah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's the Beeman. weekend hey, job. That's mm -hmm. the weekend job. Her day job, she's really saving lives. Yeah, she's uh, her team. She really she's doing is. incredible work. We got to have it, her on. We got to sure. have the whole family. Yeah, bring her on. Yeah. And bring her on to talk about They my this family. Hotel. They, they're, they're, Literally? Are you making No, no. Well, I mean, 
I mean, everyone's your With family. With your family, they're, they're, they're my family. family. And the exactly. governor's family, too. We all family. <laughs> oh, there you yep. go. It's Delaware. <laughs> it's Delaware. No, the governor is my best friend. But that's questionable because we I don't know if he heard me. And I need validation, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, from middle school, I still want some more steps in. Middle school. So, I, I'm yeah. just passionate. That we Like, I'm in this job, uh, like a lot of other elected officials are, to, to help people who can't get a seat at the table, who don't mm -hmm. have the money to give to campaigns, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Who are, don't, don't, are forgotten about when there's a crisis and everyone's worrying about the, the health of their family, their friends. These are people maybe left out, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Who have problems with people don't want to deal with. I, I feel like it's my job. Those are my constituents, too. And if they're not being taken care of, we all got to find a way to work together. Right. And take care of them. And let me say, when we did this, we, uh, we were nervous. It was bold. It was big, and almost everything I've heard has been, "This is amazing. How can we help?" And it's overwhelming yeah. to the point that there have been so many individuals and groups offering to help. We're like, we're, we're just tr putting together an organization now. Okay, so um, yeah, as we're talking about it, because I, I thought about this, and I'm hoping that you can kind of bring some ease. So I'm not going to call out names, but like. When I started telling people, hey, I got tested, I got tested over and over again, serially. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I literally had a couple of people say to me, I'm not going to get tested because they, they were sort of, one literal thing was they were worried that somehow they would then be forced to take the vaccine or that they would be in some sort of government registry that they didn't want to be involved with. And just a lot of, like, I, I do understand being paranoid of, you know, government, okay? But can you give any sort of um, ease to someone who is worried about getting tested in terms of those kinds of concerns, you know? Yeah, so the, the testing, it's similar. It's no different than if you go to Quest or LabCorp or where you go. If you're, okay. if you're willing to go for your, like, I don't know. My parents got tested, mm -hmm. right? The other day, they got tested, and sometimes there's a problem with the emailing of results. It doesn't work. There, for a while, Curative was having a problem. If you had a Yahoo account, it didn't work. They've hmm. addressed that. Who has a Yahoo? But so we me, were, me, literally. Yeah, Yahoo. <laughs> so we were here back in back in July, August. We were hearing from all these people. Hey, I got tested three days ago. I haven't heard results. Uh, what I did with those emails is I just gave them to my paramedics, and then people with a medical background could access them. I, I, I don't even know. They give me a number. They tell me the number of people who've tested, the number of people who've been tested positive. So I assure you that no one has access to any of your medical information who wouldn't o ordinarily. I also can tell you... Um, I don't have to take the vaccine now? No, you're, you're not required to. You, you in sure? fact, nobody's required to do anything. Like, we, we haven't. We've talked about mandating testing. I know on the federal level there's been some talk about mandating the vaccine, mm -hmm. but no one's, no one's requiring it. New technologies always should be concerning, right? What, whatever the vaccine is today, I assure you that five years from now, there will be a better one, right? Yeah. We know that there will be a better one. But at the same time, like, people are dying, yep. right? I couldn't, my mom's birthday was on Monday night, and Monday, I was supposed to go uh, to there to have dinner with my mom, as I do every year, on her birthday. Monday afternoon, we got a call that somewhere I was at on Thursday, uh, there was an exposure. Someone tested positive. Yeah. Thursday afternoon, I got a test at one of our sites, yeah. but it didn't matter. You know, yeah. it didn't matter, yeah. and so I missed my mom's. I just called in. Yeah, right. I missed the birthday. So yeah. if I had the vaccine, you know, I could have celebrated my mom's yeah. birthday with her. So yeah, Aww. that's and that's been my experience too. It's just like even though I get tested, I got tested twice last week. <laughs> You're right. It is serial. And back even back two or back. three days later, it's like oh my gosh, I was here. This happened, and they're like, now what's, what's next? I think and, people, a lot of people, just want peace of mind. Yeah, you know. And that's the that's the main part of it. If they're if they know they're out, the they want the vaccine because they want that peace of mind. But then you have the people who are not out, and they're like, I don't want nothing. I just want to stay home, and y'all stay home. So I get it. You know, there's a lot of. What, what's interesting is that we don't. I, I think people should take the vaccine, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's medically, like you're saying, every medical professional I've spoken to about it says it's perfectly safe, mm -hmm. um, or not perfectly safe, but but very yeah. safe. It's also not perfect, we should, right? Even if you get but it, it's none not of them 100%. Are. No right. vaccine. Nothing is. in life. Right, is, right. Case, That's the right? thing. <laughs> right? Uh, nor is our testing, for that matter. Um, so we would like to play a game with you. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Nice oh. musical. This is called Unrelated Connections. <laughs> With Matt and I failed at this miserably earlier, so don't feel bad. But You're probably smarter than me. But he's a little slow. I'm a little slow. I should, I'm, mm, yes, go ahead. So, <laughs> I'm going to give you three things, and you have to figure out what I'm talking about. It's all Delaware related. 
and the three things describe one thing. Got it? Got it'll it. kind of it'll make more sense after you get the first Got answer, it. but right. okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's the first one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Tolls. Two places at once. River. Del Memorial Bridge. <laughs> He's a sharp one. He, he, we, we like you being in office again. Sam. <laughs> this, this is a sharp is, one. This is just we good. know why okay. he's the executive. Okay. He's executing right now. That's my okay. <laughs> All right, here's the next one. Here's the next one. Okay. Speeding, capital 21. <laughs> Speeding, capital 21. Police? It's a Delaware thing. Mm-hmm. Speeding capital Dover. Speeding Ellesmere. You're so close. You're very close. The Dover part is right. Go back to Dover. You're speeding capital. Twenty one is what. Uh, mm-hmm. Twenty one years old. Exactly. Let's keep helping it. And then speeding fast. Not twenty one years old. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no Route Twenty One. Something do- Listen, I'm Newcastle County, so if we're in Dover, <laughs> you can get the Kent County exec in here to talk you to him. You want to pass? I'll no, pass. No, give it to him, though. Tell him. No, he can come back. Okay. All right. oh, well, no, we I don't, don't know that. I mean, we time. don't have a timer, but... Dover Downs. <laughs> oh, Dover Downs. Blackjack. Oh, Dover Downs. Blackjack. <laughs> yep. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's out of my county. I don't... Oh. All right. Third, this is the next one. Square, royalty, opera. Grand Opera House. Close. Square. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ronnie Square. Mm-mm. Square, you're putting royalty, it together. opera, square, rock, um, was, not Hotel DuPont, square, royalty. They're all on the same. Man, I, we should have quit after the first one. <laughs> no, 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 but you're, you're thinking correctly. Square, royalty, we also Market might... Street. Yes. There you go. Yay. <laughs> He's a smart oh, man. I was, I was about to say, me and Sam just suck Want to give one more? Want to give one more? Okay. We have room for two? Okay, two. Okay. More. All right. German Shepherd, shut up, Hunter. I got this one and it made me laugh. I bet you're going to get German this one too. German Shepherd, shut up, Hunter. It's not Joe Biden. Yes. <laughs> no. My favorite one. Yeah. Okay, last one. Friends, Jumbo, Math. Oh, is that me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good. So you wait. put cuz in there, but yeah, that's all right. <laughs> wait, so you you speak fluent Swahili? I do. No, no, do I Oh my God. That's you know, I thought we were doing this since they told me we're switching over to the Swahili language part of the show. No? I, I That's not today. You know what? What happened was... Only just, how'd you learn Swahili? Well, why did you? I lived in Kenya for okay. a year. Ah. That's how we there. cousins, because but of my fluent, blood. But you're fluent. I've been in places <laughs> for a year, but like, you're fluent. I, was, I started a footwear company in a poor neighborhood in Nairobi. What? Who and did so, you bring on this show? Yeah. Like, this is... You are, Continue. We did a good See, job. This could easily this be man. a two-hour interview, but we have to keep moving. Go, 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 go. Yeah, no, I, I, I was. I grew up in Delaware, and I wanted to see something completely different. So the first chance I got in college, I went and uh, studied abroad in Kenya for four months. And then when I graduated, I went back and lived there for a year. Okay. Wow. And I love it. It's not for everyone, but I love it. Hard. Is there anything that you need to let difficult. us know or educate us on? Look, I, I think that in March, when COVID started, everybody took it really seriously, right? We were all hunkered yeah. down. We were scared, mm-hmm. scared yeah. to go to restaurants, scared to go anywhere. Everything was closed. Now people are like, we're kind of living with it, which is kind of good. We're resilient. But on the other hand, I think there are a lot of us who, when we look at our friends, neighbors, family, maybe aren't taking it as seriously as we should. Yeah. So I just want to emphasize to people, like, carry these things around, mm-hmm. right? I got mine in my jacket. Wear right them. Uh, it, it's really very, uh, it's still very serious. The numbers today are, are higher yeah. than they've been at any time. Yep. And part of the reason is a lot of us are not taking it as seriously as we should. So yeah. please take it seriously. It saves, it saves lives. Yes. It definitely I think does. that you, it saves lives. And also the people who are, well, if I get it, I get it. Not everyone dies. Think about the after, the aftermath, the We've after said it so effects. Many times. Because there are so many lingering things and everyone's different. Like I have a friend whose left side of her body still goes numb. I have a friend who suffers from crazy headaches and she had it months ago. Um, people with lung problems that are, they're still dealing with I'm about months to take this vaccine. after. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I was like, wait, she's saying, I'm like, you know what, where's the vaccine? Yeah, right, right. Right. I'm not- so just be mindful of that. Yes, you having that, uh, let's relate this to um, 30 seconds of passion and then a lifetime of 
responsibility okay that that minute or hour you're hanging out with your friends could turn into a lifetime of all these health issues that you can't also, don't want to deal more uh the more we go out and do things the longer we're going to be in this for yeah. if we could get the whole country just for one month to everyone just hunker down i think we'd be in a much better place but because all the yeah. movies on netflix <laughs> and hulu We'd be good. You like, all be, the movies, You're making all a, the shows. a reasonable point. Y'all, okay, but we got to go. Um, cousin, this. Thank you. This thank is you awesome. Very much. Please come back. Definitely, and thank you for what you're doing. It's a, it's yes. a great, it's great for the community. It's great for the city, the state. Uh, we just want everyone for, to love Delaware. And can we have a hashtag, I'm so Delaware? Do you feel like you're so Delaware? I Definitely am, so Delaware. I think he is. What's, what's the most Delaware thing about you? Maybe the most Delaware thing about me is when I graduated high school, my parents are like, you can go anywhere you want for dinner. We will take you anywhere. I went to Charcoal Pit. My guy, <laughs> yes. That my and point. on that note. <laughs> Perfect way to close. Woo, on that note, we'll be back. <laughs>